<sighs> you say we're going to put something together today. We're going to put something together today. The robot. The robot. That cuts the metal. That cuts the metal. In those boxes. In those boxes. Because we're on quarantine. Cool. Because you're on quarantine. All right, let's go. You didn't say let's go. Let's go. All right. All right, so us, like the rest of the world, are on quarantine. I've got my help today in the garage. Lana, can you say hello? Can you say hello? Hello. Tell me about the book. About the book is, 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 called, is, is called Microphones. It is called Microphones. Good job. All right, you think we'll get it, be able to get our microphones set for this video? Or do you think it'll be any good? We always need to make it good. Okay. Bear with us on the microphone. This is my help in the garage today. We're going to attempt to put together our Crossfire Pro. Uh, we got it with the Torchite controller, uh, all the bells and whistles, and we also have got a tank set up so we can do a, a water system on it. But before I get started, I need to get everything open, clear out the garage, move this stuff around. There's everything in the box. You may notice uh, I myself got a new toy, but let's get this stuff moved out of the garage, get the table cleaned out, and we'll start putting everything together. Okay, box one is complete. I understand why this is 140 pounds now. Here's all the frame, um, slats, everything for the water table. Looks like ball screws. It was all packaged very good. I have to tell uh, Langwire they did a good job on that. Um, the finish on the tubes is good. Um, that was something, if you haven't seen our first video, we reviewed the Crossfire uh, first table they had, small one. Uh, good table was packaged well, and they've they've outdone themselves once again. So box one's open. Let's uh, get this big box open and the water table open, and then we'll start putting things together. Okay, so I've unboxed the hardware box. Everything seems to be labeled nice. Uh, looks real good, real good. Uh, pulled up instructions online, so I'm gonna start just making my way through step by step, try to follow it, to not jump ahead. I uh, do like most of us do. Um, so let's get to it. speak once again to how well all these bolts are labeled I mean I've opened 30 bags so far each one has a number a description and I've just laid them all out uh, so way to go guys on that I'm sure you probably got a lot of complaints on your last machine so 
very nice. Okay, once the frame is bolted together, one of the critical steps it mentions is to make sure everything is square and parallel. Um, what I did was I took a big square. I could hook it in right here. I got everything squared, and luckily we have this small table so I could kind of set it up off the ground. If you don't, um, I guess you're just going to have to fight it on the ground, but don't skip on this step. I'm sure that with this being a gantry that goes across both sides, Everything needs to be parallel and square of each other. It took me, I don't know, maybe 15 minutes just to get everything square and comfortable with what I like. Then it says take a tape. What I did is I hooked the inside of the tube here. Come across. I've got about 55 inches to the inside wall thickness of this side. Do the same thing on this side. I've got the exact same thing. And it mentions in the instructions to make sure that everything's within 1 seconds of an inch. So don't skip out on this step. Get it nice and square. I'm sure it'll pay off in the long run. Next instructions on the computer. Bearing block assembly. We've got two of those to do. So let's get to it. I must say, being a designer, I do enjoy instructions that has a 3D model. They've probably drawn this on Fusion or SolidWorks or some modeling program. It really makes things a lot simpler for assembly. Stainless steel washers. All right. It's a nice rainy quarantine day. The little one went to take a nap. Try to get one more thing done on this, then go help out with the kiddos. For you guys on quarantine with kids, y'all know what it's like. Looks like there is an orientation for this set screw. So make sure you get that right. And as with all this stuff, don't tighten it yet. Just get it snug so it doesn't fall apart. Looks like there's a set screw on this side and on top. So what that'll do, will probably adjust this bearing block assembly, make sure it's square. Everything so far has been standard fasteners. <sighs> Drop these things again. All right, one gantry together. Bearing block assembly, I guess. One to go. These set screws oriented correctly. And there you have it. Two gantries put together. Not too bad. Let's see what we got next. All right, it looks like our next step is to get these tubes on. 
uh, for the bearing blocks. That's what will support the gantry. Uh, we've got these plates. I've got my hardware laid out. Don't need this square anymore. So I'm going to try to get this done, and then I may call it a night, spend some time with the fam, and we'll get back after it. Okay, I think that's going to give it a night for me. I've got the frame together, got the gantry on. Uh, just general notes. Seems to be of good quality. Uh, packaging, everything's labeled. Instructions have been clear. Um, as you're making your way through the instructions, make sure that you've got things oriented correctly as noted. Uh, it'll save you time in the long run, and that way you don't have to take it back apart. So let's get everything cleaned up. I'm going to hit it again maybe tomorrow or another day. Uh, but looking forward to getting this together.